All right, it's taken me about seven months since we've got these two beefy boys. And it's taken that long for me to finally say, I think I got it. We're moving cows today. They were over there. They've been over here for maybe about a few days. All year I've been having an issue with water. How do I get water to them? And for us right now, it's with a 300 foot hose. I like the fluorescent and the bright color hoses. You know, if you're riding up here, so that way you don't run them over. Yellow is a good color. And then I can look out my kitchen window and see this yellow hose. I mean, we weren't planning on getting the beef cows this year. And you know, that wasn't even on my radar. But we just got the property, 14 acres. You know, you're excited. You know, you, you want to start doing stuff. You want to start growing food because this is why we're here, right? When we just moved in, my buddy Justin was like, hey, there's a farmer going out of business. You want to buy some cows? Don't call them a cow. They're steers. It's funny when, when the uh, universe knows that you just bought some property, all of a sudden you get random phone calls in the night asking, hey, do you want this animal? Hey, we got pigs. Hey, we got cows. Hey, we got chickens. Do you want them? So be prepared if you have not bought property yet, it's going to happen to you. You gotta move the water first because this takes forever to fill up. I mean, not very good water pressure up here. You know, seven months ago when we got these cows, it was a it was a struggle. It still kind of is because we don't have a full perimeter fence. But now I feel like I'm so much more comfortable moving them. But before, I was really frustrated some days. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a rough day today. So I went and bought a few of these at Tractor Supply. <laughs> and three of them already broke. I haven't even used them yet. I just tried to step, put this in the ground, and it snapped. These fell and snapped. Look at this, look at it. One, two, snapped. You know, I thought I'd save a couple bucks, buy my tractor supply. They don't look that much different than the ones I bought before, but apparently they are. I was gonna move some, I was gonna move some, I was gonna move some cows today. Now, I'm like, I don't even wanna use these posts. I mean, I haven't even used them and already broke three of them. I mean, I don't even wanna use these. I mean, it was a good opportunity to get the two beefy boys. Um, you know, we always wanted the cows and we, we just couldn't pass it up, right? And even though we weren't prepared mentally and even physically, we didn't have the stuff to raise them, like a, a cow trough, you know, uh, uh, fencing, how's that gonna work? We just said, okay, let's do it. It was a good opportunity, let's figure it out. And then the farm that we bought the two beefy boys from, I also bought a bunch of these stepping posts from them. Uh, Grass-fed beef in a box. How, how bad do you want to raise these? Because there were, it was all there, guys. It was all there. A charger, fence posts. I, I had the, the wire to, to hold them in. I had the two beefy boys. It was like a no-brainer. Like this right here. What was this? I didn't know what this was, but this is like a handle so you won't get shocked. You know, it's like a handle so you could hook it on and then hook it off. I like these pigtail stepping posts. These are from Gallagher because they're really strong. They're sturdy. These ones are O'Brien stepping posts. I like these as well because these are really light. So I use the strong and sturdy ones for the corners. I use these stepping posts uh, just in between. And they don't break, which is amazing. You can step on that. We have really compacted soil here. So there was times that I've really stepped on that hard to get it in the ground. They haven't broke, but the ones at Tractor Supply, don't get those. So the land landscape company, that's all we are here. I'm just the janitor here, don't buy me. Filling this up is gonna take maybe about an hour. I'm still giving them hay, especially in this area, but I'm not wasting it. If they're not eating it, I'm still not wasting it because all that hay is going directly into the ground, turning into compost because we need it. We need more organic matter here on the land. All these cow bombs, cow bomb, cow bomb, cow bomb. These reels have been a little challenging because I get tangled on them. 
this one right here is like this one except this is all plastic the red one and it doesn't electrify nothing it's basically just a handle or to grab onto something with that hook and then when you hold this thing you want to hold it by the handle you don't want to hold it by the metal because all this is going to be electrified if it was on some things you got to think about though when you're moving the cows is that you got to be like two or three steps ahead like where's going to be the next move after this move because do you start the reel on that end or do you start it way on this end and then this is my corner right here which i like the stronger posts the little pigtails this wire comes in this rail which this is not ideal i thought i could get away with it this year of just doing a bunch of these instead of the nice reels but some of you were kind enough to send me a reel like a few and so that that was super helpful i think you guys saw me struggling and i was like they, he, that guy needs a reel so so thank you for those because it opened up my eyes and really saw that this is not the way to go the unwinding of this is not a big deal it's when you want to wind it back up that's that's where it's time consuming we have about five apple trees out here and we need to cover them you know we need to put something around them because the cows will eat them you got it found the zip ties We are blessed enough to have neighbors and neighbors who let us borrow their four-wheeler. Thanks neighbors. All right, we got some luscious green grass here. We have two cows over there. Hey, beefy boys. We also have apple trees. The cows, excuse me, the steers. I just want to take that chance. They're, they will eat the leaves. There's no apples on them uh, just yet, but we need to fence around the apple trees because I mean also we have deer you know like this is something we've been wanting to do for a while we're gonna make do what we have and we have this old fence we probably had this fence for I don't know five years Probably. and you know just scrap fencing that we've just saved and we're just gonna try to make a little structure fence structure around these apple trees I mean I can just put it just around the tree but then I almost feel like these are too short. My plan was to make them, put them wide enough around the tree so that way steer won't come over and get too close because they're not tall enough. So if they were wide enough, maybe they couldn't just stretch their necks. Man, these are little remnants. We're trying not to buy anything. Come on. I feel like this is priority and I have way so many things on the priority list that I'll get to it and it can be done but this is priority. This needs to be done now before you move the cows, before the deer come and eat this. So this is, this is the first step, you know, in the whole process of all the other things that we have to do, but this is number one. This is until we can move the cows through here and then Lorraine's gonna be planting some more stuff in these areas and make it, you know, a proper permaculture orchard. out of the cage wire and we want free for this project since the springtime when we started clearing our property I've been saving these long sticks because I know that they're so good for something so I just kept them I knew that they would have a good use one day and what do you know they're perfect for our project we have a lot of this nice grass I mean there's so much grass right here we had the turkeys here I'm coming, cows. I'm coming. Would well, you look at that? I didn't manage to tangle this. Maybe I am getting the hang of it. And also moving them, I feel like it's more of an art form. It really depends on how much forage you have as far as where you're going to put their paddock. You know, where are you going to put the area? Where are you going to move them? How big of an area? You know, I feel like it kind of really feels, feels 
like it depends on the land. What, what is it saying to you? You know, is there a tree in this spot? I'm coming. Is there a tree in this spot? Is there a tree in that spot where we want to put them? You know, I want to make sure I give them a tree because they need shade. Also, also cows will let you know when they want to move. You know, as soon as they see me with the wire, as soon as they see me with the stepping posts, they're mooing, right? Like they're ready to go. They're ready. The grass is always greener with these cows. All right, look at these. Let's see if this holds the cows. You got the apple trees there in the middle. You know, we're trying to make do with what we have. We have a lot of these sticks. We have some extra twine. And just make kind of like a little stick cage around them. All right, I think we got it. We're all sealed up here. We're gonna move them now. Just unhook it here. We're coming, we're coming. Be patient here. And then we just move them. Move cows, this way, this way, this way. Come on, move it. There we go, there we go. Yeah, man, that's so satisfying. Our grass is not great, you know, this, is, this, this land is not great. You know, there's a lot of weeds, this is a lot of stuff going on. It's compacted still, you know, like we're still working at it, but you have to start somewhere, right? Cows will still eat a lot of this stuff. What I'm noticing, we're not gonna have the perfect land, the perfect grass, you just gotta put them on it. And over time, everything will, will appear, right? Everything will, all of a sudden, you'll walk out here and I'm gonna be like, wow. It started with these two, and over the years, it's just gonna keep getting better and better and better. And if you guys wanna see a fun video, well, not at the time, at the time, we were scared to death, but there's a fun video right here of our first pigs escaping. They almost got ran over. The FedEx driver is running, is going down the street as we're trying to wrangle up these 250 pound pigs. So <laughs> there's that video right here, so you guys can check that out.